So like so many of us, you want to lift your four-wheel drive up, even just a couple of inches, nice and subtle like that. Well, as our previous videos have shown, even if you just do that subtle, even a two-inch lift, there are some considerations that you are going to need to factor in. And one of those is UCAs, or upper control arms. And Nolathane have provided a really cool solution, and we'll get into a bit of detail about that. What are they? Where are they? Well, here's a typical modern four-wheel drive front end, and here's our UCAs sitting up here. Now, specifically, let's have a look at them. First of all, there's a type of, well, that's actually a Nissan Navara factory UCA, upper control arm, quite well made, a lot of pressed steel in there. Now, what I do want to show you, if you're like me, before I bolt any aftermarket part on anything, I want to know that's well designed, well researched, well manufactured. And I can tell you first, just from a weight and integrity point of view, this is a strong component. I know they've used really high grade tubing in here, very thick, and what I really like is these ends are forged. The end with the ball joint in it, and also the end with the bushings in it. Now, if I can just touch on bushings for a sec, the other thing you're going to get when you get one of these new Nolathane upper control arms is you're going to get this great new bushing technology. They're calling it gyro technology and what it effectively is, is well you can see there on the screen it's a series of materials and bushings that allow when that's clamped into position that can move really really freely. Now that's been through millions of cycles of development on their machinery and when you think about the application of this UCA and the significant amount of articulation it has to go through, particularly once you've lifted the vehicle, what that does, that bushing allows, is to move really freely firstly through that articulation, not put the inner rubber or whatever material you may have through stress and distortion, which often then opens up and lets more junk in there, which accelerates the wear of that bushing. It actually just allows that to stay closed and move really freely. Now, so the question is, why do you actually need to change your UCAs? Well, let's have a look. For all the sorts of considerations that I urge you to go and have a look at our other video, for me, to put these on is a must for any lifted 4x4 vehicle. It provides three degrees of caster rectification. And what that means is when you lift your vehicle, you can straight away, by putting that arm on, put your caster smack back in the window where it was designed to be. And then you only need to do the fine adjustment to make it bang on. Similarly, with your camber, it'll put your camber right back into the window where the camber wants to be. And we all know how critical that is. Of course, it'll provide greater clearance when you're going through that greater range of articulation, you're gonna need clearance. And then of course, as I say, it boasts this new gyro, yep, double I, gyro technology that Nolathane have created. You know, and I love Nolathane. I keep saying it because they don't stop innovating. So whether you've got a workshop or whatever circumstance you're lifting a vehicle, doing it yourself, consider these Nolathane UCAs or upper control arms as a really good solution to some of the issues you might encumber.